Good day. So uh, I want to talk today uh, in light of my two recent trips to uh, Donetsk, in which um, I've learned a lot about Ukraine's attack on the Orthodox Church within Ukraine. Um, essentially, any church or monastery that refuses to um, disavow the patriarch in Russia and to um, pledge allegiance, essentially, to the patriarch um, in Kiev, those monasteries or churches um, are at risk of being destroyed uh, by the Ukrainian government, and many have been. Um, I just learned that the Kiev Petroskaya Lavra, a sanctuary and holy place for all Orthodox Christians, is about to be plundered uh, by the Ukrainian government and its relics and uh, uh, possessions sold off to other European countries. Um, this is one example of, of what's happening there. When I first went to, to the Donbass, to Donetsk, I went with a group of people that was actually bringing humanitarian aid to, to monks in a monastery on the front lines, a monastery that's been shelled for years, that continues to be shelled, where a number of monks have been killed um, in the shelling. On my most recent trip, um, I met an individual named Sergei um, from Kharkiv, who uh, actually had sought sanctuary in a um, Orthodox uh, church in that region, and after the Russians withdrew from that region, that Orthodox Church was destroyed uh, by the government in, in Kiev because the uh, priests there had refused 15 times um, to, um, again, disavow the patriarch in, in Moscow. Um, I also, during this most recent trip that I got back from, uh, visited a monastery and church near the former airport of, of Donetsk City. That airport and that uh, monastery and church have been destroyed again by Ukrainian forces back in, in 2014. It was one of the most kind of symbolic battles and acts of destruction in, in the war. So what does all this mean, this destruction of um, of Orthodox churches and antiquities. Well, for myself, I think first of all, it's it's troubling that the Western press doesn't seem to care about this. It's happening. It's documentable, and we're not hearing hardly anything about it. And I think we need to really sound the alarm that this is happening because um, you know major antiquities and historical relics are being destroyed, uh, number one. Uh, number two, of course, you have people's, you know, churches, uh, people's um, places where they go to worship being destroyed. And why? Because they will not disavow loyalty to Russia and give their loyalty to Kiev. That's what it really amounts to. And so this is an attack not only on the Orthodox Church but on Russian speaking and Russian ethnic people. That, that's, it's also part and parcel of that. And that's a re, an attack, a physical attack that's being, you know, uh, uh, waged against the Russian ethnic and speaking people of Ukraine since 2014 in a very real way. And I think we can call it genocidal. I think that you know, after the coup government came to power in 2014, it decided to wage a war against its Russian ethnic people to try to displace many, which they did before the special military operations even began in February of last year. Two million um, Ukrainians from the eastern region, from the dominantly Russian ethnic region of Ukraine, fled into Russia, two million people. 
And again, that was all by design. I think they do want to destroy in whole or in part the Russian ethnic uh, peoples of Ukraine. And, and that is, and, and doings, and they want to do so by, uh, uh, you know, inciting transfers of the population away from those areas and by killing um, ethnic Russians, which they've done. Um, this is the definition of genocide. And I think the destruction of the Orthodox churches is further evidence of the genocide, uh, that they're actually targeting um, the um, churches of the Russian ethnics in Ukraine and targeting the Orthodox Church is evidence of their genocidal intent against the Russian ethnics in Ukraine. And by the way, you know, uh, the Genocide Convention itself also forbids um, the attempt to destroy in whole or in part a religious group, not just an ethnic group or national group. And again, that they are actively trying to destroy the Orthodox Church within Ukraine, at least to the extent that it... it um, uh, has loyalty to the patriarch in Moscow as it has since its inception. And so this is all very disturbing. Um, the West should be concerned that this type of history is being destroyed, that this type of arguably genocidal war is being waged there and now is being done, you know, waged with the help of Western munitions, you know, billions of dollars of Western munitions. And now, of course, the U.S. has decided to send cluster bombs to Ukraine, which is only going to add to the suffering um, and deaths, not only of Russians, but also of Ukrainian people. Um, and we saw this, by the way, it should be mentioned in Syria, which I visited twice as well. I saw a very similar thing happening that the uh, terrorist groups at the U.S. and, and other Western and some non-Western countries supported uh, in Syria also targeted various churches for destruction, including one in Malula, which is one of the last um, cities in the world that speaks Aramaic, the language of Jesus Christ. They also attacked the um, uh, church in homes, which houses um, the uh, belt of the Virgin Mary. These are very important churches um, in Christianity. And again, these terrorists, these jihadists that, that the U.S. was backing, uh, which was calling itself the Free Syrian Army, tried to destroy those churches um, in those areas. And, and interestingly enough, of course, it was the Syrian government along with Hezbollah that defended those churches. But so this is not a, an isolated act that's happening in, in Ukraine. This is happening elsewhere. And again, with Western sponsorship. Um, and this should be, again, a, of great concern to people all over the world, including in the West. But we're just not getting the news of this. And it's not being... Um, raised as a concern and that's why we have to do that and I think it's important to go to these places to go to the Donbass and other parts of Ukraine where this is happening to go to Syria and talk to people where this has happened over the years uh, and see what you know Western tax dollars are going towards uh, and it is destruction of history and of um, antiquities again we saw that in Iraq too uh, after the 2003 U.S. invasion of Iraq, um, which some people likened to um, the uh, worst attacks on um, of antiquities of its kind since the sacking of Iraq in what I think 1253 um, by the Mongols, I believe. Um, and this is this is the type of war that the West is wa waging. It is a, it is a war of destruction and annihilation of cultures and history, uh, which I think the West sees, particularly the U.S. sees as, as standing against kind of unfettered capitalism, which is, is, is verboten 
um, in the West. So those are my thoughts. Thank you.